Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix S49 error that is could not log in into Xbox Live and it shows not connected over here. So if you are receiving this error message, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to log out and log in with same account on Microsoft Store and with same account on Xbox app. For this, open Microsoft Store. On the top right here, you can see a profile icon. Click on it, then click on sign out. Again, click on sign in. Select the right account over here and then click on continue. Now over here, it will be asking you for your pin or password. So enter the pin or password over here. Now once logged in, open Xbox app. Again, on the top right here, you can see a profile icon. Click on, click on it, then click on sign out. And then again, click on the profile icon and then click on sign in. And then select the same account which you are using on Microsoft Store and then click on Let's Play and then launch the game. Now the next step is to delete XBL login credential. For this, type in Credential Manager in Windows search box and then click on Credential Manager. Now go to Windows Credentials, scroll down. Now at the end here you will find XBL device key or XBL grts device key so you might find only one of them or you might find both of them so go ahead and remove both the entry or if you find one of the entry delete one of the entry so in my case it's xbl grts device key click on it and then click on remove click on yes now restart your computer the restart is a must so just make sure that you restart your computer after this and then launch the game and then log in now the next step is to go to this location. So open File Explorer, then go to this PC, open C drive, open users folder, then open your username folder, then open app data. If you don't find app data on Windows 10, click on view on the top, then select show and then put a check on the bar, put a check on hidden items. Now in Windows 10, you will find view option on the top somewhere over here click on it then somewhere over here you will find hidden items so click on view and then put a check on the box which says hidden items then open app data now open the local folder then open the packages folder now open this microsoft xbox identity provider so scroll down Here you can see Microsoft Xbox Identity Provider. Open this folder. Now open the AC folder and then open the Token Broker folder and then delete both accounts and cache file and then restart your computer and then launch the game. Now the next step is to repair or reset Xbox app in Microsoft Store. So type in Store in Windows search box and then make a right click on Microsoft Store and then click on App Settings. Now scroll down. Here you can see the repair option. So click on Repair. And once the repair is done, try to launch the game. Still you are receiving the error message, then perform Reset. So click on Reset. Again Reset. And once the reset is done, launch the game. Now do the same thing with Xbox app. So type in Xbox app in Windows search box, make a right click on Xbox app, then click on app settings. It will open Windows settings, again scroll down and then click on repair. Now after the repair, open Xbox app and then launch the game. Still you are facing the problem, then perform reset, click on reset, reset. And after the reset, try to launch the game. Do the same thing with gaming services. So for this, go to the start menu, then click on settings. Now go to apps, then apps and features. And in the search box, type in gaming services. And then click on this gaming services in Windows 10. When you click on it, you will see advanced option in Windows 11. Click on this three dot, then click on advanced options. Then scroll down. Again, click on repair. After the repair, launch the game. 
still you are receiving the error message then reset click on reset reset and now launch the game now click on get updates on store make sure you do this so open microsoft store on your computer and then on the bottom left over here you will find library options so click on library now once you click on library over here on the right hand side on top here you can see get updates option so click on get updates once all the updates are installed restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to run ws reset command so type in ws reset in windows search box and then click on ws reset now this will open this black screen do not close this black screen this black screen will go away and it will open microsoft store now over here you can see the black screen is gone and it's opening microsoft store now launch the game now the next step is to start all these services so type in services in windows search box and then click on services now find ip helper in the list make a double click on ip helper set it to automatic then click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok now find all the xbox services at the end here you can see all the xbox services make a double click on all the xbox services set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok again open all the xbox services one by one set it to automatic click on start if highlighted again automatic apply start and then click on ok automatic apply start if highlighted then click on ok now find windows update make a double click on windows update set it to automatic apply click on start and then click on ok now find gaming services here you can get, see gaming services make sure gaming services are running if not running make a right click then click on start if it's already running then stop it and then restart the service so make a right click then stop again make a right click stop and then restart the service make a right click again click on start start make sure gaming services are running over here now find microsoft store install service make a double click set it to automatic apply click on start then click on ok now launch the game now the next step is to uninstall xbox app restart your computer and then reinstall X xbox app for this type in xbox app in windows search box make a right click on xbox app then click on uninstall uninstall now after the uninstall restart your computer now after the system restart open microsoft store type in xbox app in windows search box and then click on xbox app and then install xbox app and then open xbox app login and then launch the game so one of the steps should definitely help you to get rid of this error so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel